So, just thought I'd do a quick note on uh, record keeping or labeling your hives. And I know this is probably really elementary, but I'm telling you guys, I've been doing it now for three and a half years, and I have finally, finally gotten around to marking my hives with something, some form of identification. Believe it or not, for the first two years, I had a good enough memory and maybe few enough hives that I actually would remember my hives by the name of the person that I did the cutout from. You know, so oh, this is this is Mary Smith. Oh, this is the this is the James Dodson hive. You know, whatever. Uh, and I could kind of visualize, and I would remember the job, remember the attitude of the bees, remember everything. But you know, you get to moving things around, and you get to selling hives and splitting colonies and this, that, and the other. And if nothing else, you just need a way to keep track of. Who needs what? You know, now the hobbyist, you got one or two hives, you know, probably doesn't really matter. But, you know, I'm running steadily, you know, 20, 30, I've never had as many 40. My max was 33, but, you know, on average 20, 25 hives. And I need a way, when I run through and I do inspections, I'll do, you know, I'll look at 10 or 15 hives in an hour real quick and go in the house and forget what I saw, forget what hive needed what. So I finally. Bought, I bought these stencils well over a year ago, probably two years ago, by the way. Finally got my stencils out, and I just went through, and without any sort of reasoning, just started numbering hives as far as, you know, just started with one and started going. Um, you know, I thought, oh, maybe I'll, I'll label my nukes, you know, one through 50, and my big box is 51 through, no, that's silly. Um, but you can look out through here now and just see each box, you know, um, number six, number oh maybe y'all can't see all that's number 19 and this one right there is number 20 on the next row from number 15 so went there and numbered them all um all the ones that i thought for sure had bees in them or wasn't sure you know ones that i knew were empty i didn't number um and then i uh went through and did inspections and lo and behold on my way through doing inspections, I got to box number eight, I want to say six, seven, yes, box number eight, it was a five frame nuke and it was dead out, it was empty. And then I got to box number 13, and it was a ten frame hive, uh, but they were they were undersized, they were only using about four or five frames. So I went ahead and reduced them down, put them in box number eight. So in my record book, as I was going through, I wrote on, you know, box number eight, empty, and then I went through, scratched that out, and wrote a new line below it, transferred bees in. Now, it doesn't matter where they came from for my purposes, because I'm not tracking my genetics. I'm not tracking who's who, uh, you know, queen for queen, any of that, non or I shouldn't say nonsense, any of that good stuff, really. I'm not doing that. I just want to keep notes on how the hive looked and what I may need to do. Primarily, do I need to feed them? Do I need to split them? You know, and as, as the year progresses, I mean, it's winter for us right now. It's, you know, I'm standing out here in, in the cold, which cold being like 50 degrees but whatever um now as we get into spring and summer it's going to become more important that i take notes on you know okay i need to split i need to requeen i need to you know do whatever so um really good to have number hives and you know i, I have to post this video if nothing else just to tell you guys that i should have done it a lot lot sooner but you know i just get naive get in a hurry and i forget and i highly encourage you if you have any more than about two or three hives it's totally worth it now if you want to id them by painting each one a different color or whatever that's up to you now the one thing i will have to do now so that i don't lose my boxes and so that you know people that buy them don't get stuck with some weird number 13 on their box is when someone wants to buy a hive i will have to transfer that box into a uh, unnumbered hive uh, and that and i want to do that just because or else i'd be constantly rotating my numbers out and next thing i know i'd be up over you know hive number 100 and i'd really only have 20 hives in the yard or whatever so that was part of why I didn't originally number them in the first place because I didn't want to be selling off boxes that had numbers painted on them and then those people were going to be, you know, having to repaint them or do whatever. So, silly reasons, I know, I'm sure, very, like I said, very elementary, but just thought I'd share it with you guys, talk about it for a little bit as to uh, why it's important, why I did it, and, uh, you know, leave it up to you on why you might want to do it. But just a little chat about uh, numbering and or labeling your hives in some form or fashion.